let's see this very important properties which will help us in evaluation of scalar triple product with ease. The first property says if you have to take the scalar product of A, B, C in a particular order, then it will not change if the cyclic order is maintained. Like if you have to skip A, it will be B, C and then A, fine. You skip B, it will be C, A and then B, that is fine. But if you change the order in some other manner, like you do not follow the loop, but what you do is you simply interchange B and A or you simply interchange C and B, then what will happen is you have to pay for it. That means you have to place a negative sign in front. So this is the first property which is done. Talking about the second property is like you, you can change the dot and the cross. So scalar triple product ABC's actual definition means A cross B dot C, but you can always replace it while keeping the dot and cross interchanged. So it will become like this, the magnitude or the answer does not change. The next property is about the scalar triple product is zero. So if you have been given scalar triple product is zero, what can you conclude about the vectors? That the any of the two vectors are equal and this I will suggest you to please go and prove it yourself, like take any two vectors as equal, take A, B, C as both A and then C and then C, you will get the scalar triple product as zero. So this is a proof and a homework for you. Next, multiplication by a scalar with one vector actually means that you can take the scalar outside and then first take the triple product of the scalar triple product and then multiply the scalar. The next property says A, B, C are coplanar. This is again important. These two properties are very important that A, B, C are coplanar if the scalar triple product is zero. So if there are three vectors given to you which are not at all collinear and all, so their scalar triple product is zero means they are coplanar, right? Or what will happen? They are uh, in the sense the two of them are equal. So three and five are important. Next, if you have to evaluate the components of the scalar triple product, they will be in the determinant form like this. You can always evaluate them on your own. And last but not the least is the distributive property. That means A cross B plus A cross C. That can be the evaluation in case of the scalar triple product. So these are the properties and these properties are important in order to understand things much more better.